Chael Sonnen could be in some big trouble with recent news regarding his hotel altercation in the Four Seasons this past December. If you're not informed, make sure to check out my video covering the story at the top right of the screen first. Well, according to the married couple that was attacked, Julie and Christopher Stelflug, Chell is not telling the truth at all about the incident, and they reported something entirely different and repressing charges, one being a felony count of battery by strangulation. According to Chell, a man provoked his wife while walking in the hallway, which resulted in a scuffle with six other men that Chell handled easily. Chell also spoke to Brendan Schaub about the incident in a personal call, and Brendan commented what Chell had told him on his podcast. Brendan said, Some drunk guy with his girl kept making comments about Sonnen's wife, Brittany, saying stuff about her body parts right in front of him. Well, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, because you are talking and disrespecting one of the toughest guys on the planet and definitely one of the toughest ever to compete in the UFC or Bellator, and you're doing it in front of his face. Then there's going to be repercussions. But according to the police report obtained by the Las Vegas Review Journal, things didn't exactly happen the way Chell claims. Chell's wife, Brittany, wasn't present at all and was asleep during the incident. She told police that she had taken a sleeping pill at about 4 p.m. on December 18th and woke up as security guards were escorting her out of the room. The officer that wrote the report also stated that Brittany was injured but didn't elaborate on what class of injuries she sustained. The officer asked her about the injuries, but she was unsure of how she obtained them. When he inquired whether Chell ever abused her, she said that he never had. According to the victim, Christopher Stelflug, he and his wife were repeatedly punched by Chell without provocation in the hallway of the hotel. Caitlin Newberg from the Las Vegas Review Journal wrote, Christopher and Julie Stelflug were walking back to their room on the 35th floor of the hotel at about 7.30 p.m. on December 18th when they saw a man in the hallway who appeared to be intoxicated, uttering unintelligible noises. The man whom police later identified as Sonnen was barefoot and wearing a torn, bloody shirt around his neck. As the couple walked past the man, he knocked a drink out of Christopher Stelflug's hand without provocation or any communication whatsoever. The lawsuit states, when Julie Stelflug told Sonnen they were heading to their room and did not want any trouble, the ex-UFC fighter began punching Christopher multiple times in the head. Attorney Corey Kaplan wrote in the lawsuit, Julie screamed for help as the man put her husband in a chokehold. Another hotel guest was able to pull Sonnen off Christopher, but Sonnen then began elbowing the guest. Dr. Stelflug, helplessly laying on the floor, then witnessed Sonnen turn his attention to Miss Stelflug and viciously attack her. Christopher Stelflug said the image of the man throwing his wife against the wall and punching her in the face still haunts him. Julie Stelflug is 5 feet 3 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds, while Sonnen has a history of fighting middleweight and heavyweight UFC champions. Julie said, I'm still very shaken up and emotional and still quite terrified actually. Julie, 46 years of age, fell to the floor in the hotel hallway after Sonnen threw her against the wall. Sonnen attempted to lift her up by her coat, but Christopher Stelflug grabbed her ankle to allow her to slip out of her jacket. Minutes before the couple walked into the hallway, a different hotel guest was punched. The guest told police he left his room and was randomly struck in the jaw before he closed his room's door and called security. According to a copy of a Metropolitan Police Department incident report obtained by the Review Journal, Sonnen punched several of the security guards who arrived as he was attacking the stealth lugs. He also is accused of striking one security guard in the nose with his knee and kicking another in the chest before he was detained by more employees. Julie and Christopher said they are still seeing doctors in California while recovering from concussions. Both were bruised, and Julie said she had a split lip after the attack. The incident report indicated that five people, including the stealth lugs, suffered apparent minor injuries. Christopher said hearing the comments made on Brendan's podcast made him angry, and he wants the truth out there. I just want people to know it was a totally unprovoked attack. We were just walking into our room to plan a sushi dinner. We did nothing wrong, and this guy went on a crazy rampage. Chell to this point has not made any mention of the incident on his podcast or any platform. We'll have to wait for Chell's court appearance on April 27th to get up to date on the incident. Nate Diaz has been trying to book a fight for some time now with Conor or Dustin Poirier, but with no success. He's placing the blame on the UFC and just tweeted today that he wants out. He said, I would like to request to be released from the UFC, Dana White, Hunter. I apologize for asking online, but you don't give me a fight ASAP. I got shit to do. Motherfuckers be crying because they get dropped from the UFC. I can't pay out this bitch. Then Nate responded to a fan and said, I want to go to Bellator. Sorry for tweeting, but it's 2022. As I mentioned in a previous video, Hamza Chimaev had interest in training with John Jones after defeating Gilbert Burns. While on the Triple C and Schmo show, Hamza said that in his opinion, John is the number one pound for pound fighter and not Kamaru Usman. He said, nobody is like him. He beat a lot of guys. He beats the monsters. I did all my training with Alex Gustafson. I know how good he is. And if John Jones could stop that guy, it's scary. And he beat not easy fighters. It was crazy good fighters with knockout power. On the ground, it was good. Everything was perfect. You know how Daniel Cormier 
face pressure is, good wrestling, and he has good boxing. And he has the mentality of just pressuring fighters and killing them. And Jones stopped that guy as well. You can't say Kamaru is better than him if he stays in the game. Jones has to be pound for pound number one. Usman has only one belt. And how many times did he defend his belt? Three times? Four times? John Jones did it all his career and defended his title like 11 times. It's different. Kamaru didn't beat the guys that John Jones beat. The guys are different level. And finally, Sean Strickland versus Alex Pereira has been confirmed for July 30th at UFC 277. Sean is coming off his split decision victory over Jack Hermanson back in February 5th of this year. And Alex is coming off his decision victory over Bruno Silva a few weeks ago. Sean is giving Alex Pereira a huge opportunity as Alex is currently unranked and Sean is ranked number 4 in the middleweight division. Alex has two notable victories over Israel Adesanya, one coming via KO and kickboxing, which could play a factor in Sean making the decision to face Alex and secure a title shot versus Israel if he is able to secure a victory. As always guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button for me. If you're new, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. Thanks for watching.